Hi, I'm Charlie Love and welcome to this Chrome Enterprise tutorial with Apps, Events and Acer. Now, last time we spoke, um, I was creating courses using GAM uh, for Google Classroom. And what I did was batch create a whole range of different courses using the data that you can see here. Um, so using this data set, we created all these courses with one command for all these teachers. Now today, what we're going to do is we're going to use data to, to put all of our students into their appropriate courses. So what I've got here is just a set of information with the students' email addresses, their first names, last names, just for record to visually look at it. I've got the OUs the students are in, but most importantly, I have the course alias. So this is the alias that we gave to the courses when we registered them. So when we look at the course data, we had the alias, just that quick reference that you can use to reference that specific course that's unique for each course. And that alias is what we're going to use to enroll the students in their different courses. So there's the students, uh, I've got them in set up there, number of student email addresses, student courses all shown there. Now to do that, we're going to use again, going to use the magic of GAM and with GAM, we've got some commands to manage course participants. So this is from the GAM wiki. I've just popped over to, to that on GitHub and just into the wiki and all the instructions about how to use the various GAM commands are shown there. So we're going to use the GAM and we're going to just type in, just to add the students, we're going to GAM course alias. So we're going to use a course alias. You could use the ID, so if you each course will have a unique ID and if you run a report again using GAM to print your classrooms out you'll get a copy of that unique ID for every classroom but we're going to use the alias I think that's a lot easier because you can set that up yourself when you create the class we're going to add a student and then so we're going to type add student and then we're going to put the student's email address we could add teachers in the same way so that would be adding additional teachers to the classroom we, we could do it in, in that way. So where are we going to do this? Well, we're going to pop over to our cloud console. Um, so just, just go into cloud shell. So this is my cloud shell. Uh, this is part of my Google cloud console. Um, I've shown you in previous videos how to launch that. You can install that as a, a progressive web app. I've done that here. So I've just booted up, logged straight into the progressive web app and I now have that available to me. I've got the shell down below and I've got a shell editor above. And I've already uploaded the CSV file with my students, the one I just showed you a moment ago that I had in a Google Sheet, downloaded it as a CSV and I uploaded it to the cloud shell just by dragging it from my saved location and dragged it into the cloud shell. So to do this command now, um, to register all these students in one go, I'm going to use the GAM bulk command. So I'm just going to say GAM CSV, and then I'm going to say the name of the CSV file. So that's studentscourses.csv. And then the way GAM bulk commands work is you use the GAM CSV CSV file name, and then you write the standard GAM command that you want to execute. So I'm going to do GAM course, and then I'm going to refer to the course alias. Now I've called that column in my data file course. So I'm going to just type in title course. And then um, what I'm going to do is say add student. And then I'll say the student's email address and that field in my data set there, my CSV file is called email. So that's just to go over that command again. I'm using the GAM bulk command. I said GAM CSV students courses dot CSV, which is the name of my CSV file. I then execute the, then write in the GAM command that I want to use, which is GAM course, the course alias, which I've got with title course there from my file, add student and the email address. And that will add all of these students to their courses. So that's now running, adding my students 
into all of the available Google courses just as I want. So that's added all the students to their courses. I'm Charlie Love. Thanks for watching this Chrome Enterprise tutorial with Apps Events and Isabel.